That was a bit more successful, though. Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are here with Kerbal Space Program. As any of you know, I love space, I love rocketry, I do not have a degree in either of those uh, fields of study, but we're going to have some fun, because, uh, as you know, resume saved. Oh, these are from, like, many, many moons ago. Forgot that was even a thing. Okay. I, I have played KSP a long time ago on my laptop, as you can see. I've never made a video on it, nor am I any good at it. But we're here today to see if Kerbal X can make our own version of of Tesla, not Tesla, SpaceX's uh, reusable rockets. So we're here today to try and put a rocket maybe into orbit and then uh, hopefully land it back. I'm at, I at least want to get one reusable rocket and then we'll maybe start the series if y'all want of me trying to make reusable rockets. Okay, so we're in our hangar here and I don't remember the controls, but we're going to start out with a drone core because uh, of course since it is a yeah, I don't like that how do I get rid of this is there a bigger drone core that one may be too big is this one slightly smaller er, I don't know which one I like is this one bigger no that's the smallest one okay so we're gonna find a drone core that's about the right size so I think that one that's about the right size okay then we're gonna do some fuel tanks so one that's, that's about the right size fuel tank. Cool. Um, is there a longer one, though? I, I'm going to need a lot of fuel to put you into orbit. Oh, that's a big boy. No, no, no. no that's still a large boy. Okay, so I guess we're doing small tanks here. Um, I don't really know how many tanks I need on here. We're just going to put, like, what? One, two, three... Four, we'll say five. Maybe five. Maybe five. There we go. Okay, so we've got five of those. We're going to separate it in the middle. We're going to put a command and control advanced inline stabilizer to keep it from losing control. Uh, cargo crew action. Action. What? Oh boy. It's been a long time since I've touched this game. Structural. We don't really need a structural. We don't need an adapter. We don't need any adapters. No. We are going to use a stability enhancer for launch, but that's for later. Payload. Uh, we don't really have a payload. I guess if we wanted to, we can still use this. We can still use the service bay as our payload. We'll stack two service bays. That way, if we ever do want to use our rocket here to put something into orbit, or, you know, something like that, we can do that. Uh, aerodynamics, here we go. So, I'm going to use my trusty, uh, trusty, trusty, trusty Google over here on the left. And I'm going to look up SpaceX uh, reusable rockets. And we're going to give them a look. Just a look. I just want to see, what is their normal one? Is it the Antares? The Falcon 9 is the big one, right? Or is the Falcon 9 the normal one? Falcon 9 is the two-stage reusable rocket. Okay. So if I'm looking at it, it is a two-stage rocket. Um, ours is not going to be two-stage as of yet, because that would require a lot of things. We've got some images of it right now. I mean, realistically, if I do another control module. Since this is our payload right above the control module, we could probably... Oh, this is going to be hard to figure out. Okay, I'm not a rocket engineer, and we're all figuring that out the fun way. I'm going to need some air brakes where air brakes should be under here, aren't they? There we go. 
And then just like the actual rocket, I think they have the air brakes about right here. Now there's our grid fins. We don't have grid fins, but uh, we do have these. Deploy, cool. So we have these. They're gonna kind of stabilize us on the way down. Now we're gonna need a rocket of some sort. We're gonna need some batteries and stuff too, but then here we go, engines, engines, engines. Uh, swivel, Do we? which one of these has better thrust? 205 kilonewtons, 167 kilonewtons. Do we want the heavier thrust now? I think you want the heavier thrust in atmosphere, right? Holy engine, that's a big boy. Liquid dart. Ooh, is that a. That's an arrow spike. That's for. Okay. What about you? What are you? The vector liquid fuel engine. It's a lot of kilonewtons. Ooh. Okay, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a simple. We're, we're going simple for now. The shrek. <laughs> why is there. A, why is it so small? Why so small? Why? Why so small? Alright. So we have our initial first stage, I suppose we can call this. This is the first stage. I'm probably going to get rid of the cargo. Can I just delete those? Is there like a... Oh, D is rotate. Okay, A is also rotate. I don't want to do that. So we're just going to get rid of that for now. Because this is our first stage, which means I can just put a decoupler. Where's decoupler? Is that a coupler? There we go. Dude, that's a really small decoupler. That's still a pretty small decoupler. That's too big. Okay, so we have a decoupler right here, which means on top of the decoupler you will have your second stage. For us, we're not going to have a second stage just yet. We're not getting super fancy. We're going to put just a small cone on it for now. Um, it's not going to be Staged, actually, our stages. Yeah, stage zero should be that. Um, these need to be staged, actually. But we're not going to talk about that. Okay, so we have all that. We need landing legs, because I'm pretty sure it does land. It lands on like four really big spikes almost that fold out, and I don't. Like, it, it has landing legs, sure, but it's not real landing legs. They're more like landing fins. And we don't really have anything like that, do we? We don't have fins that just kind of stick out when we need them. Conformal co- oh, I like that. Fuel cylinders, jetpacks, oh, there's so much to do. Lights, storage unit, parachutes. I might add a parachute or three to this, just so we don't lose it continuously. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What in the hell is this? What in the hell? Okay, well, that's not for now. Uh, let's go over here to aerodynamics. I'm just, cause it would be under mechanical, really. There isn't, like, anything that folds out other than normal landing legs, right? We also need our stability enhancers here. I don't think we really need four of them. I think we could probably just deal with one of them right now. It's not that big of a rocket. I just do one, like, right there for now. Just kind of hold it up off the ground, you know? And then I suppose we can do a... Where, where it be, where it be, where it be. There we go. Landing struts. Heavy duty method. Yeah, we're probably going to need the most heavy duty one, right? And we can just kind of like put them right here. And they're deployed right now, but we can start them. We can start them stowed, right? I'm gonna need to stow these, so how do I... I forgot all the controls. Oh boy, here we go. Tool rotate. Move, here we go. No. You. I want to, like, sink these in, kind of like that. Oh, 
Perfect. And then can I lower them just a little bit more? Okay, okay. Now we got something going. We got we got something here. Doesn't look too bad. And then we just start them stowed. So we just start retracted. And then we we move them again to where they're just not really. Oh boy, here we go. Um just kinda like that, just barely sticking out. And that way, when they deploy, they deploy like that, which, oh, that's, that's going to give me a, a nope. Let's go ahead and rotate you along this axis, look kind of like that. Oh, that looks much better now. So we've got that, we've got our fins. I don't remember what our controls are, though. Do we have any warnings right now? I don't think we have any warnings. I know that we're going to run out of battery for our guy here. So we're going to need some electricity. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure how many of these we're going to need. Uh, these are nuclear generators, essentially. They generate... It's always active. 0.8 per second. Uh, you, as a control module... One second, let me come over here to control modules. I need to see how much it takes per second. 4.8 per minute. 4.8 per minute. We're going to do some math here. I'm not good at math, so we're going to do some math. And where was that again? And this produces 0.8 per second. 0.8 times 60 is... I need a calculator because I suck at math. A calculator. L calculator. So we're going to say 0.8 times 60, that's 48 energy times 4, because we're going to put, that's 192 electrical charge per minute. That's really good. That's going to cover all of our electrical needs if we just throw four of these little thermoelectric generators in about right here. That way they're close to what they're doing. And we're just going to take them and we're going to move them and we're going to offset them and put them inside and then we're going to rotate them again where is our blue line and we're just going to push them back inside this come on come on come on there we go perfect 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 so those are always active so we now have enough battery uh this needs to be up here with this this decoupler doesn't really matter right now Where's the decoupler at? Hello? Decoupler? Um, variant. You know, what? What? Is that a th oh, there it is. Okay. Now I can see my decoupler. Now it's the yellow and white one. Okay, the decoupler really doesn't matter. It's not going to be used at all. I think we're ready to do the first launch. We're going to start these retracted, so now it should just be initial launch some thrust vectoring which i think ooh, we don't really want super high thrust vectoring let's turn that down to half because that would probably flip us all right uh we're gonna save this as i, I don't know what this can i open um cancel those are like pre-made things that people have made how do i save this one new no open where, where's what I just made? I click save. Damn it. Did we did we break it? Game. 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 I don't like that at all. Is there another way to That's depressing. VAB, is there just an untitled aircraft that I said? Untitled aircraft, wait. Untitled spacecraft, load. Ah, there it is. So we're gonna. They call theirs the Falcon 9, so we're gonna call ours the Kerbal 9. Sure. Not gonna get a copyright claim. Enter ship description. Maybe. Now we're gonna save it. Okay. We've saved it. Uh. I don't see any warnings, I don't think. 
AV tools, engineer's report, shows severity checklist. Yeah, um, decoupler attached wrong, decoupler activated before launch clamps, missing ladder, electric charge generated, but storage, short range antenna. So these need to be down here, and then the decoupler needs to be, so these need to be number one. The decoupler needs to be zero. Okay, so that's good. Oh god, I've hit the wrong button. Stop it. Uh, we're gonna close that report. Can we turn the report off? Thank you. Now that we've done that, how do I... Can I zoom in, please? How do I... I hate the controls for this. Oh, this is disorienting. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I... Zoom? Zoom. Zoom. Oh, no, 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 no. We just do that. Why is that selected? Okay. This is a nightmare. How do I... Sure. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. How do I... <sighs> it's one of those games, isn't it? Okay. Well, we have the Kerbal 9. Um, and we're going to launch it. Uh-oh. Let's see if we die. Well, nobody's really dying if this fails, right? Like, it's just kind of going to fall. All right, before I want to do... There's a zoom. I want to turn on my SAS, which is going to keep me stabilized. Uh, it's my stability assistance system, which is why I added this this guy right here. My wheel inline stabilizer. So what? Brakes deploys that... So that's my air brakes for when I come back into land. That's very nice. That should slow me down a decent amount. I'm not sure how much they'll slow me down, but they should. Uh, gear. Oh, that's a nice chonky noise. I like hearing that. All right, so that's the roll and everything on my aircraft. Gear works. So that's how she should land whenever we come back down. All right, so we're going to max our thrust out here and shoot for the skies. Hmm. Made a calculated decision, but boy, am I bad at math. Well, we've done it, gentlemen. We've landed. Close enough, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ruh -roh. <laughs> do, 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 do do Nothing happened, you saw nothing. Alright, so we do need a chonkier engine. Um, can I please like zoom in? How do I Game Where is my control? Leave open save launch. No, I just give me this engine. So that was the thicker of the engines. So I guess we might need this vector because we didn't even get off the ground with that one. So what's my mass? What's the mass of this aircraft? Twelve point five four zero tons. So in order to lift that, we're probably going to have to use this guy. Thrust limiter. Wait, did I have a thrust limiter on on this one and not a gimbal? Oh, I'm just stupid. Okay. Never mind. Let's relaunch that. I thought it was a gimbal limiter. Gimbal is for your thrust vectoring. I was just stupid. I didn't realize that uh, my thrust vectoring, uh, it has very minimal thrust vectoring, so I should be safe. So we're going to ops check everything one more time. Toggle brakes, toggle landing gear. Everything works as advertised. Stow everything. Throw on our SAS. And we're going to the moon. Straight to the mun. We're flying. We're doing it. We're doing it. I can't use all of my fuel. I just have to remember that I need to save maybe... I don't know how much fuel I'm going to need to re-land this. Um... I gotta watch my altitude, because at a certain t altitude you want to start doing your gravity turn. 
This uh, rocket has definitely not got enough fuel to get us into orbit on its own. Definitely does not. We're already burning through a quarter of our... Well, this is only our test rocket, so even if we don't get into orbit, as long as we can maybe land it, maybe land it in the ocean. Uh, I know SpaceX uses drone ships to land their stuff on, but I mean, oh, is it doing its own gravity? Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's not good. My center of gravity shifted from the top to the bottom, didn't it? Didn't it? Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and deploy our... We're going to wait until we start falling back down. So, our apoapsis is right here, which means we're going to start falling towards the ocean. Interesting. So, we can just start... How do I slowly increase my... Th there's my thrust. So, we can just start slowly burning thrust again try and get us back over the launch pad maybe because now we're just gonna come straight back down let's go ahead we're falling now so we're gonna kill our thrust again our uh, we're still coming down over the water so let's angle ourselves properly and then do a max burn to come back over the Check our apoapsis now. Uh, that's not ideal. We're still coming that way, I think. So we're going to deploy our brakes. And that's going to start stabilizing us and slowing us down. There we go. Deploy our landing gear. Oh, no. Deploy those. Deploy our landing gear. We're... Falling at 160 meters per second. It's kind of a lot, but we got more than enough fuel. Actually, we probably have too much fuel, for being honest. So much fuel is probably going to cause me to land really heavily. Also, my landing gear is sticking sideways. I don't like that. All right. So we're just going to slowly... We're definitely not landing on the, uh, the launch pad anymore. Ooh, that's not good. But hey, we kind of made it. Kind of. Okay, so we're going to go back to the vehicle assembly, and we're going to put our stabilizer, which is right here. And we're going to take that, and we're going to take that off, and we're going to take that off. We're going to take that stabilizer, and we're going to put it here. And then I'm going to take another stabilizer and put it down here under the engine so they work in tandem and pull it together maybe that'll help us i don't know um i'm really bad about balancing rockets out i should probably have my center of thrust my center of mass and my aerodynamic overlay turned on do 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 uh where is it command and control yeah there we go Small inline reaction wheel, that's way too small. Advanced inline stabilizer, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. We're not even gonna worry about that, uh, that. So now our thrust and our stabilizer all go together, and then we can deploy those other action groups. So right now my center of gravity is in the, well, center, very. Okay, so that's our center of gravity. How should a rocket center of gravity be? Google. How is a rocket's center of gravity? Do to do to do. All right, so let's look at a rocket center of gravity. Center of gravity should always be in the middle, which means if we're going to burn fuel from around the aircraft, we should have something heavy in the middle. Okay, so you want center of gravity kind of near the top, actually. Otherwise, it's going to over-torque it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. So, our center of gravity should remain right there. So, we should, realistically this one tank gray and we're gonna 
do, 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 do. Make sure it doesn't burn any fuel. So it will cross feed through from all of the tanks evenly, but it should not burn that fuel, which will keep our center of gravity kind of higher. And in fact, we're going to put one more fuel tank in. We'll have six. We'll do that. Six, six, six. That's the number we're going for here. And we're going to turn this one gray as well. And we're also going to make sure it doesn't burn anything. And that's going to keep our center of gravity nice and high. At least higher than it was. And no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Indeed. Let's go ahead and take that off. All right. We're going to do this then. We're going to test it like that the extra fuel holding its weight kind of right there. But what if I did this and I take the a bit of a where's the move tool? We take that and we move you up. Does that bring this? Oh, that's glitchy. Does that bring the center of gravity up any? It doesn't. Hmm. Okay, we're going to try it like this and see what happens now that we've tested our center of mass and everything. Do, 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 I'm gonna die. Okay. We already know that our landing gear and our brake groups work. Uh, did I have, okay. So I have to be careful here because they decouple and then they launch, okay. Oh, I didn't turn on my SAS, there we go. So we should be shooting straight up. We're gonna burn our liquid fuel again. Um, should be burning pretty evenly. So our fuel is burning evenly, which means these fuel tanks should maintain that center of gravity in the middle of our aircraft, or our rocket. So as long as that center of gravity doesn't shift to the bottom or the top, we should maintain a relatively stable flight path. I am gonna burn my fuel a little bit faster because we are going through the, uh, we don't have as much fuel, essentially. But this is just the first part of the, uh, rocket. So we shouldn't need that much fuel either, because that's just going to weigh us down when we come down. So we got up, we've already beat our previous record, I think it was around 8,000 where it started to break apart or spin and do whatever it was doing. 10,000. 11... 12, what's our athoapsis at? 24, so about right here is where you would start your gravity turn at 15. Oh, there it goes. All right, so gravity turn was still a little bit too intense. I nosed it over at way too much. Um, and now we're facing the wrong direction. That's not ideal. Rut row. Um, we can try and flip it though. So we can flip it because we have so much reaction. So we can just slowly flip the rocket using our reaction wheels to torque our center of gravity. We have enough fuel. So we made it to 24,000 meters, which is right where our apoapsis should be, I think. 24, yep. So we're coming back on our apoapsis. We came straight up and we're gonna go straight back down. So that is our debris down there. I know at one point you could shift between them. I, oop. So let's turn our fuel off. So coming back down, we're in the thicker part of the atmosphere now, so we are going to fall pretty fast. Or the we're in the lighter part of the atmosphere. Black is space. This is thin. This is like where airplanes fly. And then this is Earth, gravity, air, oxygen. Yes, words. So we are going to start, no, we want to nose back over to the, we want to nose ourselves back into the land essentially. So we're going to flip ourselves sideways and burn ourselves in that direction. And then we're going to cut our fuel again because we need fuel to land on. We're not going to land where we want to land, but ideally, this is gonna, all right, we're getting to the part where we can deploy our brakes and start slowing ourselves down. It's also gonna stabilize us a lot. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna land where we wanna land, but that's fine. Wee, I'm inside the rocket. 
Let's go ahead and deploy our landing gear. I mean, I guess we could technically kind of drift wherever we wanted to using this method, because it kind of just like throws our weight around. I guess we're kind of drifting. Hey, we're doing something. Okay. Well, we're gonna add about, what? What is a good burn altitude? Like 50 meters, just burn everything? I don't know what a good burn altitude is. Falling at 140 meters a second. Start burning. Start burning, start burning, start burning, start burning. Ooh. That was a bit more successful, though. I'll take it. We're going to actually relaunch that one. Revert to launch. We're going to relaunch this one just because I want to see something. If I launch it, max, T, normal, anti-normal, radial in, radial out. Okay, everything's good. There we go. We're going to go up. And then we're going to start our gravity turn a little bit sooner. These flight controls are really nice, but I need some that I maybe could control mid-flight because that's also how the... That's how uh, SpaceX's works. They have a bunch of micro fins on it, and those micro fins turn sideways, and that's how they control the aircraft as it descends, along with inline stabilizers and some other wizardry but we're gonna start our burn our gravity burn all right so we can start throttling down we don't need to be going super fast start our gravity burn turn about right here keep the weight in the center of that aircraft then you just have to keep it about right there about right there and then at one point, you can hit 45, and it'll start rolling over on its own, essentially. So this time, we're definitely going to hit the ocean. We're way off course, but I don't feel like correcting. This is just a test run, again. So with the gravity burn... Gravity turn. Uh, we're going to stop with about that much fuel left. So that did not get us nearly as high as the last one, I don't think. Our apoapsis is at 20, just under 22, which is fine. Um, we're going to land in the water, which, like I said, is probably the safest thing for us to do. The water is going to cushion our landing. Maybe put a parachute on these for now until I can figure out how to land them securely. I've definitely seen a few people that do this and they land them perfectly and I'm just like that's wizardry I don't know how you do it, but it's wizardry and then eventually I'll have to put on a long-range antenna because as you can see Once we get into space Which we're not even in we're in the upper atmosphere now falling back down You will lose this line of communication and then things start to get real bad So as we come into the thicker part of the atmosphere, we're gonna again deploy our air brakes here and that's going to make us start falling more evenly perfect ruh-roh maybe I deployed them too soon but they're correcting it's correcting itself kind of kind of want to fall it's falling in a retrograde pattern so it's kind of okay maybe we can build a recovery site on this runway over here and just do that I don't know but this is a fun little project to see if somebody with no experience in space can build a reusable rocket. Using only an idea and a little bit of basic know-how of aerodynamics. It's actually really fun. This game is super relaxing. So we're falling at 220 meters per second. Uh, our fall is starting to stabilize. We're at 6,500 meters be nice if that was in feet because I, I really don't understand meter what is no that's our vertical speed okay I don't think it really matters if I deploy my landing gear over the ocean so we're not going to worry about it actually we are still going to deploy landing gear yeah 
I definitely need some fins or something. So we're falling at 159 meters per second. I don't know what the tolerance of these are. Uh, we're at at 1,000. We'll start a burn. So we start burning at 1,000, which slowly lets us hit our mark of about 50 meters per second. Come on, come on. I mean, that wasn't clean because it was going sideways. Definitely was not clean. But I'll take it. We've kind of successfully gone to space and made a mildly recoverable rocket. We can use most of that rocket. And I'll take that. It's we're going to recover our rocket debris. And that is going to end it for today's episode. We are on year one, day one, mission number three of reusable rocketry. And as you can see, it's going to be a long time till we get into space, but it's going to be a fun time. So thank you all for joining. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.